Do you ever have difficulty praying? Maybe the hindrance is not about how to pray, but to whom we are praying to. When the disciples asked Jesus in Luke 11, 1, Lord, teach us to pray, Jesus said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. The first thing that he taught them was that we have a relationship with God as a father. And knowing God as a father is an invitation to being part of his family. He is a good father, and he gives good gifts to his children. Our father knows what we need even before we ask. Hallowed be your name. Many of us probably think this statement is simply part of the opening address, making it seem that Jesus is saying that the Father is set apart and holy. Yes, God is holy, and that's part of His nature. There's no one like our God, and we are to approach Him with reverence and respect. In fact, in the Old Testament, the Jews were scared to approach God at the mountain and let Moses speak on their behalf. Yet in the New Testament, as believers, He gave us access through Christ. Does it mean that we are never to take God's name in vain or use it as a curse word? It would be grievous for us to use God's name the way some do, even though some TV shows allow for coarse language, yet broadcast networks still ban most graphically sexual phrases. However, this is not so with the misuse of God's name. You know, sometimes outright blasphemy is allowed for the sake of entertainment and even reality. Honoring the name of God is more than just speaking the right words. It actually involves everything we do in life. Our lives must align with the words coming out of our mouths. Don't just speak it, live it. You know, growing up, my brother and I would sometimes recite our prayers at night as fast as we can and find out who would win as if it's a race. And many times, our prayers are hurried prayers. We want to get over it quickly. But praying to our Father will remind us of the special relationship that we have with God. And He wants to spend time with us. He wants to show us that He cares for us. Declaring hallowed be your name is also saying that I'm letting go. And I'm transferring control to Him because He is capable of handling my situation. And as you come to Him today, He wants to listen to your requests, frustrations, your pains, worries, or even anger. He's not surprised. He knows. And He wants to help. He can fix our trauma and depression. He can provide what we need. He can heal us from our sickness, and He will protect us from harm. And as you come to Him in respect, I believe that He will lift us up. Speak to our good God. Do not be in a hurry. He is our Father, our Dad. Have a great day.